The quote seen on the screen is written by C.S. Lewis, a British writer best known for his works of fiction, especially Chronicles of Narnia. The quote highlights the transformative power of literature. Lewis suggests that literature does more than just depict the world around us. It adds depth, nuance and meaning to our perception of reality. Lewis is emphasizing the profound impact that literature can have on individuals and society by enriching our lives, fostering essential skills and providing emotional and spiritual sustenance. Assalamu alaikum and a very good day to everyone watching. I am Siti Fauzena Zakaria and today I will be presenting my paper entitled Unveiling the Experiences and Obstacles of Law Undergraduates in Literature Education. To begin with, let's look at the use of literature. Now in 1991, Carter and Long distinguished between two uses of literature. One is literature of study, which involves reading literature within an educational setting in order to earn a credential, such as passing a subject or earning a degree. And number two, literature as a resource, which is reading literature serves as a means for students to become more self-aware of their surroundings and to expand their language skills. Now, numerous countries have incorporated English literature into their education systems, placing it within the context of English language teaching. In the Malaysian context, Ministry of Education, MOE, incorporated English literature into the English language KBSM curriculum in 1999. This decision made it mandatory for all students in Form 1 to Form 5 to study literature components from diverse genres such as poetry, novels, short stories and drama. However, due to the introduction of the Common European Framework of Reference, CFR, in the current English language KSSM curriculum, the role of literature components in the Malaysian English curriculum has undergone changes. According to Ali et al., this introduction is part of the new reform in the English education system as outlined in the English Language Education Roadmap 2015 to 2025, aiming to align the Malaysian English language education with international standards. In the present KSSM curriculum, the literature component has undergone a transformation and is now known as Literature in Action, LIA. Furthermore, it is no longer included in the current Sijil Pelajaran, SPM Malaysia, is Sijil Pelajaran Malaysia SPM examination. As part of this change, the Ministry of Education, MOE, collaborated with Cambridge English to establish a standard-based English language curriculum which emphasizes the teaching of reading, writing, speaking, listening, grammar, and LIA in English classes. Other than in primary and secondary schools, literature is also taught at higher educational institutions in Malaysia. Now, according to desktop research conducted, there are various public and private universities in Malaysia that offer degrees in English language and literature. To name a few, University Malaya offers literature subjects in its Bachelor of Arts English program. UKM offers a program called Bachelor of Arts with Honours, while IIUM offers a Bachelor of Human Sciences in English Language and Literature program. Other than that, literature subjects are also embedded in programs like Teaching English as Second Language TESOL in various public and private universities in Malaysia. Additionally, literature subjects are also incorporated in communication programs. For example, um, the IIUM offers a program called Bachelor of Arts in English for international communication students, while Nottingham University Malaysia offers a program called International Communication Studies with English Language and Literature. Now, although the number is limited, there are also students who are not majoring in English or literature who have to study literature subject. Now, Taylor University, for instance, a private university, offers an elective subject, Introduction to American Literature, to students of Arts, Humanities and Social Science, while students in the program Foundation in, um, in Arts of Health University has a subject called 
introduction to literature. The incorporation of literature in various university programs is most likely due to the advantages that literature offers. Other than that, literature subject is also commonly offered to law students. For example, at the Management and Science University, Shaklam, the foundation in law students are required to pass the subject called English for Law. And in this subject, they have to learn short stories, poems and poems. Literature is also required paper for law students of Multimedia University Malacca. In the context of the current study, literature subject is listed as one of the papers for Bachelor of Law students in University Technology Mara, Shaal. That leads us to the problem statement of this study. There have been countless studies that highlight the advantages of learning literature. Among those cited in the current study is a study by Hassan and Khader, 2017. According to them, the key benefits of incorporating literature in ESL contexts are it can motivate learners to embrace cross-cultural differences and discourage extremism or fanaticism. It can enhance learners' creativity, it can contribute to the improvement of learners' linguistic knowledge, and it can promote students' reading proficiency. In another study, Salim and Ilyas 2019 stated that both the current global economy and multicultural society demand individuals who possess knowledge of not only their own culture, but also the languages, traditions, and histories of others. They claim that it is imperative to explore different languages and engage in learning, particularly by reading liter literary works at, as it represents an effective method to achieve a well-rounded liberal education. Literature enables educators to provide valuable perspectives on essential concepts like literacy and liberalism. Moreover, through a thorough analysis of literary texts, individuals can develop analytical and interpretive skills that facilitates a deeper comprehension of the complexities in the contemporary or in the contemporary world. Despite the advantages that literature offers, a dichotomy on whether literature brings more advantages or disadvantages has also long been discussed. Baba in 2022 stated that the two most common disadvantages of using literature are language difficulty and cultural disconnectedness. It is known that teaching literature revolves around the selection of texts that are contextually and culturally unfamiliar to non-native students. Additionally, the language used in these texts tend to be overly challenging, and there are concerns about the effectiveness of teachers' instructional methods during literature lessons. Now that I've clarified the problem statement of the current study, I will summarize the previous studies reviewed in my paper. Now, the literature review of the current study is divided into three sections, as can be seen on the screen. In the first section, Previous studies dated as early as 1987 up to a study uh, conducted in 2021 were reviewed. These studies depict the incorporation of literature in tertiary education, highlighting the advantages that literature can offer to university students. One interesting point to highlight in this section is a systematic literature review conducted by Effendi and Aziz 2020 reveals that many previous research has, primi has primarily centered on lower proficiency high school students residing in rural areas. Hence, the present study seeks to address this gap by examining the perceptions of literature learning among higher education students with average and high proficiency level. In the second section, the views of higher education students were reviewed. Based on the reviews, it can be concluded that despite the common perception of literature as challenging, Higher education students have positive attitudes towards it and they recognize the benefits that literature can provide. Hence, it is crucial to thoroughly examine the difficulties these students face when facing literature to help them fully leverage disadvantages. This leads us to the final section of the literature review where previous studies that investigated on the challenges that students encounter when learning literature were reviewed. It can be summarized that the challenges the higher education students face in learning literature include linguistic difficulties, teaching and learning processes, extensive material, and cultural differences. 
that brings us to the gap that this study aims to fill. Okay. There are many previous studies that investigated students' perception of learning literature according to BABA 2022. But there are limited studies in the context of higher education students, specifically studies involving non-English major students' perception of the incorporation of literature subject in their program. The current study therefore aims to explore the challenges faced by non-English major students in learning literature to address. The current study is aided by two research questions. They are, number one, how do, how do the law undergraduate students view the learning of literature? And number two, what are the challenges that the law undergraduate students face when learning literature? Now, let me describe the methodology of the study. First, the type of research employed is quantitative. This approach allows for systematic investigation of phenomena through the collection of quantifiable, quantifiable data. For example, we used for the sample, sorry, we used purposive sampling. A total of 104 respondents participated in the study, all of whom a law students currently studying a literature course. This specific group was chosen to ensure that the sample is relevant to the research questions. Now, the design of the study is descriptive. This means that the study aims to describe the characteristics of the sample and the phenomena being studied without attempting to infer causal relationships. Moving on to the instrument used for data collection, it is, it is utilizing a questionnaire designed by BABA in 2022. This questionnaire consists of three sections and has demonstrated a strong reliability of coefficients of 0.84 and 0.81, ensuring the consistency and dependability of the data collected. Finally, the data analysis was conducted using SPSS software. The data were analyzed to calculate percentages and means, providing a clear and concise representation of the findings. This comprehensive methodology ensures that the research is both robust and reliable, providing valuable insights to the studied phenomena. Now let's delve into the findings of this research, which explores the perspectives of law undergraduate students on literature learning. The response indicated several positive perceptions about literature learning. First of all, it is fun. This was rated as the highest with a mean score of 4.5, suggesting that students generally find literature enjoyable. Second item, it improves English proficiency. Students do believe that literature helps them improve their proficiency in the English language with a mean score of 4.48. Increases cultural awareness. The mean score of 4.47 indicates that literature helps students increase their awareness of different cultures. For emotional growth, literature is seen as beneficial with a mean score of 4.36, while for intellectual growth, students feel that literature helps them grow intellectually, and this is reflect, fact, reflected by a mean score of 4.32. It is also found that literature is considered a motiva motivating subject with a mean score of 4.26. Other than that, with a mean score of 4.12, students recognize that literature has benefits that extend beyond academic learning. On the other hand, there are some challenges and less favorable views. The mean score of 3.83 indicates that students see some importance of literature in contributing to their future professional careers, though not as strongly as other aspects. Now, difficulty in comprehension. Literature, especially novels, is considered difficult to comprehend by only some students with a mean score of 2.68. As for perception as a waste of time, a minority of students view literature as boring and a waste of time, and this was depicted by a mean score of 2.09. Now, these findings highlight that while the majority of law students appreciate the various benefits of literature learning, there are also challenges that need to be addressed to enhance their overall experience and perception. Now, let's look at the second section of the findings that seeks to find out the obstacles that students encounter when learning literature. Now, generally, it can be seen that item 4 received higher mean scores, which is 3.17, suggesting that the assessments were seen as challenging. 
This is followed by item 3 with a mean score of 2.89, which indicates that some students believe that there are too many assessments prescribed for the course. Additionally, items 1 and 2 received moderate mean score of 2.48 and 2.38, respectively, indicating that the difficulty of understanding and interpreting the text fell in between the respondents' evaluations. It is also found that uninteresting teaching methods achieve the lowest score, 2.01, suggesting that students actually enjoyed the teaching methods employed in their lessons. Now, in addressing students' perspectives of literature learning, okay, our study revealed several key insights that will be presented in the discussion section. Now, firstly, we found that law undergraduate students generally enjoy studying literature. This finding aligns with previous research by al and Hussein 2017 and Ashfaru Zaman et al. 2021. Similar to the studies by Hassan and Hassan 2019 and Dar et al. 2021, our respondents perceive literature as beneficial for language development, cultural awareness, and personal growth. Now, interestingly, despite their future careers as law professionals rather than English educators, our students recognize the relevance of literature. To their careers. This was unexpected compared to findings in Baba's 2022 study which focused on prospective educators. Additionally, like the higher education students in Hassan and Hassan 2019 study, the law undergraduates appreciated group discussions and presentations in their literature classes. They found these activities conducive to developing critical thinking and analytical skill as also noted by Abdullah et al. 2021. The second part of our study focused on identifying the challenges faced by law undergraduates when learning literature. Contrary to previous research that highlighted text complexity and language difficulties as primary challenges, according to Pasaribu et al, Baba, Shamari, Abiladi, Hassan Hassan, Yawuz, our study found that students did not rank text did not rank text comprehension as their foremost challenge. Instead, they identified demanding assessments, high workload, and time management as their primary concerns. This shift in perspective may stem from the study's student composition, which primarily comprised of students with intermediate to advanced language proficiency levels. Moreover, while earlier studies consistently cited teaching with teaching methodology as a significant challenge in literature learning, our study found that teaching methods received the lowest rating among the challenges faced by students. This discrepancy could be attributed to the variety of engaging teaching approaches used by lecturers and the independent learning capabilities of advanced students. Now we've come to the final section of my study, which is the conclusion. Now, in summary, this study provides insight into law undergraduate students' perception and challenges when learning literature. It underscores their preference for drama and novels, their positive views on literature's educational and personal benefits, and their recognition of its relevance to future careers. Careers. Finally, the study also highlights assessments and workload management over text comprehension as the main challenges that students face when learning literature. That's the end of my presentation. Thank you.